hazmat team called after chemical spill in Sheboygan County, crowd scatters after gunshots near downtown Madison, fire crews battle Sheboygan House fire. These stories and much more on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS TV, news content provided by WHBL. Hello, I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Monday, December 3rd, 2018. First responders were called to the scene of a rollover crash at Blueberry Lane near Highway 28 near Waldo on Monday morning. The 911 call came in around 9 a.m. with scanner reports indicating one person was trapped inside the vehicle. First responders reported glare ice on the road while responding to the scene. There is no official word on any injuries. Most of the departments called out after a chemical spill at Millipore Sigma on County Road V have been told to disregard. The dispatch center got a call around 8 o'clock Monday morning of a chemical spill with possible exposure, and that is when they called out the hazmat team and many of the fire departments in the county. As crews arrived on scene, they realized a large response was not necessary. Millipore Sigma, formerly known as Altridge Chemical, makes a number of different chemicals and lab materials. There won't be a strike at Kohler this time around. Union workers at the plant ratified their new contract yesterday. The new deal largely erases the two-tiered pay scale that angered union leaders back in 2015. The new contract also provides raises for nearly every employee at the plant and will give some workers an immediate $1,000 bonus. In 2015, a strike went on for several weeks as the two sides worked towards a new agreement. Fire crews were called out when a fire broke out at a home on St. Clair Avenue in Sheboygan Friday morning. Lieutenant Keith Rissey says it happened shortly after 8 o'clock. When crews arrived, there was light smoke visible outside, and everyone was outside safely. The fire was found in an upstairs bedroom, and the cause is unintentional and did about $33,000 in damage. The Sheboygan Police Department seeks the public's assistance in identifying subjects involved in thefts from coin machines that have occurred at various businesses throughout the city. Please see the attached photos, and if you have any information about the identity of these subjects, please contact the Sheboygan Police Department at 920-459-3333. Madison police say a gunshot went, sent dozens of people fleeing downtown. Officers responded Sunday morning around 2 a.m. to a report of shots fired in the 100th block of South Butler Street. No injuries were reported and no property damage was found. No arrests have been made. Investigators determined a disturbance happened outside a bar and a gunshot was fired. The Green Bay Packers announced during Sunday's Packers vs. Cardinals game that international recording star Paul M McCartney will play Lambeau Field in summer of 2019. There was spe speculation that the famous singer would play Lambeau next summer when a Facebook ad popped up this fall that McCartney would include Green Bay as part of his Freshen Up tour. No word on how much tickets will be or what date he will perform. McCartney's Freshen Up Tour is scheduled to stop in Madison on June 6th, and that show is already sold out. The Packers will release more information on December 4th, and the last concert at Lambeau Field was Billy Joel in June of 2017. And finally, Mike McCarthy has been fired as head coach of the Green Bay Packers. 
Team President and CEO Mark Murphy announced the move in a press release at 6 o'clock p.m., just hours after the team lost to the Arizona Cardinals at Lambeau Field, 20-17. to The Green Bay Packers have parted ways with head coach Mike McCarthy and named Joe Philbin interim head coach. President and Chief Executive Officer Mark McMurphy announced Sunday that the 2018 season is not lived up to the ex expectations and standards of the Green Bay Packers. As a result, I made the difficult decision to relieve Mike McCarthy of his role as head coach, effective immediately, Murphy said. Mike has been a terrific head coach and leader of the Packers for 13 seasons, during which time we experienced a great deal of success on and off the field. We want to thank Mike, his wife Jessica, and the rest of the McCarthy family for all that they have done for the Packers and for the Green Bay and Wisconsin communities. We will immediately begin the process of selecting the next head coach of the Green Bay Packers. Speculation built around McCarthy's future as, a, as the season unraveled with Aaron Rodgers starting all 12 games, the team's run of eight consecutive playoff appearances ended last year, but Rodgers missed nine games with a broken collarbone. McCarthy became the 14th coach in the franchise history in January of 2016, or 2006, hired by the general manager, Ted Thompson. He led the Packers to the Super Bowl championship in 2010 and made nine playoff appearances in his 12-plus seasons, as well as having the second most wins only behind Curly Lambeau. And that is all we have for today. Join me again on Wednesday for another recap of our local news. From all of us at Community News Review, have a great day. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.